Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Shoes. I hope all is well. We are getting back into things here on the Katahdin Zoo on Planet Zoo. Now, before we go into building another habitat for our zoo, we're actually gonna go over something real quick because I've made a few edits. I was thinking about making an own video for this, but I don't think it would be captivating enough. So therefore, I'm just gonna show you what I did on my free time. Now forgive me, I've been busy lately, so I didn't really do too much. But toward the front of the park, we have our uh, large staff center now, which I decided we're gonna use for at least right now. Did not customize it and will not for a little while. But down here, we kind of have a little bit of a better entrance to our park. Ooh, very pretty, right? We did not have that before. We have our own custom pathing for the front toward our restrooms with our nice little trees on the side. We edited our little staff entrance right here so it doesn't look weird that there's just a random different type of path. Ooh, somebody littered, how dare they? Um, coming over here, we have a very busy exhibit area, exhibit house. So I realized it stopped being busy after a while once um, we lost exhibit animals, which has changed very quickly. I'm actually thinking about this. Suggestions, please let me know. I'm probably gonna edit this building. And the main reason why is because we will have to edit this area right here. A lot of dead space, probably just gonna throw in a bunch of vegetation, right? But we have this little keeper's hut and we have a roster assigned to this habitat and this snake house that we have. And I wanna try and make it more of a snake house and decorate the outside of it. We'll do that off camera maybe, or on camera, I don't know. Uh, but we're gonna have probably a small entrance in the back. But as you probably already saw, we have a Looney Balloons, which is bring us in some income, over $3,000. You can see we are quickly making money. And our income for the past two periods have been around $12,000. So we can spend a lot more money on a lot more things. I'm gonna pause it because now it's raining and it's annoying me. <laughs> so in mid motion, we have our new customized bridge, which I really like by the way. We use some nice logs, as you can obviously tell. I had some lights right next to it and used this little custom uh, fencing path and kind of did my own little thing with it. So that's where we're at a better flow into the park so it feels like a nice modern but yet uh, North American zoo. So that being said, we're gonna get straight into things. I'm gonna pick out an animal and I'll let you guys know what's going on. All right, so here we go. We are making a, another habitat for our North American area. And I'm really happy about this one because it's probably gonna be our most open area habitat. We did a lot of creative things for this, which I'm really excited about. We now have pronghorn antelopes and we have the American bison. Now, as you can see right now, we are making our path for our nice little habitat that's gonna be going right over the whole entire habitat. Um, that is not gonna be the edge of the habitat right there. So I spend a lot of time trying to figure out the terrain on this, trying to figure out how we should handle the barriers. Now, as for the barriers, I just figured out that on the Zoopedia that there is some, like, they give you some sort of fact about like, oh, this is how high you need it. And in this video, I ended up changing the meters into feet. So apologies to the ones that don't live in the United States or use the imperial system and instead use the metric system. I am sorry, but uh, for every three feet equals a meter, which is also a yard. So uh, we use about one and a half meters for this habitat barrier. Now, I try to figure out a way to make a few different viewing areas. Now, the bridge is the main one, and I'm not quite sure if I like the whole entire bridge there, so that is something that I'm going to have to figure out if I like it or not, but I end up making this little ground viewing area that is close to our food plaza. I really like it, but right now it's not that customized and you will see how it turns out. It turns out really nice. I've kind of learned over time how to use different techniques in order to make things look really cool and essentially that's what I end up doing. Now that being said, this is something that I don't usually do. It's something that is not in my comfort zone. So let me know if you like the design of it because that's as creative as I've ever been in this game. <laughs> We do have a few issues that we encounter, um, and one of that is just really trying to figure out how I wanna round the barrier around our habitat. 
This is a really different habitat and there's a lot of viewing areas and a lot of bridges and whatnot. So I'm kind of wondering if I need to take out the bridge, if I need to alter its route. So that is something that I have to figure out here soon. And then that being said, I need to make another keeper's hut that's actually near this habitat and more dedicated for this habitat uh, instead of the others. And I also need to connect more power up to that area as well. So I end up doing that. I don't end up customizing anything, although I kind of do look at what some of the modern buildings look like. I'm like, ooh, that looks nice. But uh, as for the whole habitat itself, there's not much foliage that has to go in here because the pronghorn antelope and the American bison are prairie animals. So they go in the grassland much. So sorry, prairie is basically grassland um, if you're unaware. So that is what we are dealing with nothing too much in the scope of vegetation but we go for more of a north american feel with all these logs now in the process of when i move in the animals to our habitat i figure out that they have their satisfaction for their shelter but that being said their shelter was noticed underneath the bridges instead of you know their own dedicated sleeping space so I had to make a shelter for them and you will see that I end up making a log cabin. And with that log cabin, I end up doing a lot of altering and it is another area where I do something which I haven't done before. But we have to figure out quite a few different things in this habitat. And like I was saying, the shelter was one of them. And I do this log cabin and it's with all these logs. So the only problem is too, is I'm using a lot of logs for this area. So I don't know if it's a good balance or not, but I figured out that I was making a lot of square, a lot of building piece type buildings for our shelters, for our, uh, you know, just other areas of our park. So that being said, I also do make an overhang for our uh, nice little viewing area, which is not our bridge area, but our viewing area. I will show that here in a moment. I hope you guys really enjoy that, but I wanna take this time to really go over a few other things. Now, we have a lot of conservation credits for the zoo. Now, that being said, I have to figure out where to go from here. I'm trying to take out a lot of strategic planning for when it comes to making this zoo. So if there's any suggestions and how I should proceed, any next steps, I really want you guys to let me know. I would highly appreciate it. And yes, I do live by a busy road, so apologies about that. Now, as for the schedule of videos and whatnot, I am going through some rough times, <laughs> not as in like, uh, you know, personal issues or anything like that, but just scheduling rough times. So I got a lot of things going on is what I'm getting at. So if for those of you that don't know, I do <laughs> work and I also uh, am a college student. So therefore it is coming toward the end of my semester where a lot of work needs to get done and it is getting a little bit difficult to keep up so I'm really trying to keep up with these videos so apologies if I do slow down within the coming days now that being said for those of you who are subscribed and want to keep watching these videos first of all thank you very much for subscribing and we have a, a lot of subscribers that have come on board just recently so if you're new welcome so but this is getting to a, a different sort of time in this channel to the point where I need to figure out how to better manage my time considering that I'm going away for Thanksgiving and then I end up going home after college so I'm leaving my computer at college which is a bummer but I do have a laptop so I plan to keep recording these videos quality may differ but I hope to keep bringing these videos now that being said I'm gonna try not to rant on too much about it but going back to the building here, I make up our log cabin. I kind of thought of like uh, those log pieces that you used to use like as a kid to make these little log cabin things, which used to be the best, let's be honest. They were the best things on the planet. So that's kind of where I got the inspiration from, believe it or not. I don't know why I thought of it, but I did. But we make up the, I really like how this turns out. We make this nice little log cabin. It's nothing too, too special, but it's not our norm for a shelter, which is really why I like it most. Now, of course, we have to add in our sleeping pads and all that sort of stuff to make our animals very nice and happy so they know this this is an area for them to sleep at. Now, another thing too is that we also have to do a lot of research, which we end up doing as well. I end up 
tidying this building up a little bit as much as I can. But then another thing that we have to figure out how to do is this nice little canopy area for our nice viewing area. Now, first of all, this is, I like to consider this our main viewing area. And this is what's making it difficult for the rest of the area. Everybody likes to go over here, but everyone likes to go everywhere to view the animals. So that brings up the question of how I should proceed with the rest of this area, for this habitat, I should say. Now, there's a lot of bridges, a lot of viewing areas up there. I can make some more viewing areas up there, but I wanna kind of make this area right here the main viewing area. Now, what we do differently is instead of using roof pieces, we actually end up using just some nice little wooden columns. And you'll see that we stretch it out across our nice little uh, canopy area for viewing. Now, first of all, if you guys think this is good, just wait and see how the rest comes out because I'm actually really proud of this. Now, the building idea, it doesn't come from me. I've watched plenty of other YouTubers. I'm not copying anything that anybody else does. But that being said, I do take some of the techniques which I hope is totally acceptable, and please do not deduct me points for that. <laughs> but then we, of course, make some nice little support beams for this little area to make it look more real, as in structure-wise. And then we have to figure out how to basically duplicate the piece and bring it over to the next. And it turns out to be a very nice area. Now, the canopy itself is not enough. And to be quite honest, it's a little bit high up, so I don't know if I want to bring it down in height. Something about it feels a little bit off, but it may not be off. So let me know what you guys think first of all. But we'll get back to the building there in a second. We of course add some nice enrichment items and do what we can for our animals in this area. We try to bring the enrichment items much closer to our nice viewing canopy. So it is utilized better. Now that being said, we do end up throwing it a little bit elsewhere just because you know, we don't want to throw too many things up at the front. We kind of want our animals to move around elsewhere as well. So back to our viewing canopy. I'm trying to figure out how to make the curbs blend in better or the pathing blend in better in between, you know, the barrier and the path. Therefore, I use my own custom path and I may end up filling some plantage right there, some foliage in between it, but I'm not quite sure yet. That is something I'm still having determined. But that being said, we end up having to fill out this little back piece a little bit because otherwise it's just kind of a big open area. It doesn't feel right. I want it to kind of be more secluded. So we actually use it to put down an education board for our animals. And we end up putting two here. We put two on each side. And so one for each animal in this habitat. And it, I really like how it comes out. It, it's a nice little barrier. And of course, I try to add a little bit more in to see how much I can fill up this little area to make it more efficient. Now, of course, I have, you have to throw in educational speakers under a canopy, it's just how it works, so I end up doing that as well. So, uh, for one animal, one animal on each side, and that's what I end up doing. Uh, but that's about it for this area. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up to help support out the channel. I would appreciate it. Hit subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Oh yeah, and don't forget to leave suggestions because I'm running out of ideas.